What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. In this video today, a Pennsylvania man has been sentenced for the armed robbery of a sports card shop. This was out of uh, Altoona, Pennsylvania. Happened back in September 2021. Just got sentenced. We're going to cover that. Link to the article will be in the description. Before we get in this, just real quick, I know a lot of people have been hitting me up on IG, Twitter, uh, Facebook, phone, everything out there. I'm doing better for my procedure uh, that I had on Wednesday on my back. They only did the right side, so I go back December 28th, a couple days after Christmas, get the left side done before New Year's. That may play a factor now into going live that Friday night and doing the whatnot live stream from uh, YouTube, basically. So we'll play on that one there. But doing a little bit better. I may come live for overtime tonight. So if you're catching us now, I may be coming on. If I do, it'll be around 9.30 Eastern time that I'll pop on. But uh, a lot of things have gone on. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about that if I come live tonight. If not, I'll put a community post up. And then I'll also put something in Discord for everybody. Okay, on to the video. Jason Hodges, 52 of Trafford, will spend 20 to 40 years in state prison. Long time in state prison for being 52 years old. Not always will you see the young guys out there that's doing this stuff. There are older gentlemen out there doing I mean, OJ, that's all I got to say. Be careful, guys, with all this stuff going on. Even though a lot of these articles are older, there's still a lot of th th um, theft going on out there, a lot of deception and everything. And my word of advice to you is if you're going to a card show with a large sum of money with you, whatever you consider a large sum, it could be $200, 100000 10000 I would go with at least one other person, have some type of battle buddy plan in, in place, you know, with it. And when you're leaving, be very situational awareness um, on everything because there are people watching guys in the shows listening about the values of cars they're seeing cash being displayed and you may get mugged afterwards there's a lot more stories that will be coming out over the next two weeks i just gotta get some more facts on stuff and those will be posted out so be very careful if you're going to these shows to shops you're meeting somebody off of facebook or offer up uh because you think it's a great deal be very very careful on to it all and if you were to meet somebody offline, I'd bring people with me or bring somebody else another car. Like, dude, I'm going to come look at it. If I like it, we'll go down to the bank. I'll get the money out for you. Don't ever assume, ha let them know you're bringing cash with you. Bad things have been happening out there, and it's just going to get more and more crazy. All right, let's scroll down more about this case. So Hodges entered the card shop, like I said, September 21. Wearing a mask, gloved, armed with a 9mm. This is the guy that uh, pushed the owners into the bathroom. Thankfully, he didn't shoot or hurt them at all. Uh, he stole a box of trading cards and cash. Picture from today's thumbnail. Two days later, he was arrested in his home. They basically matched his vehicle to one leaving the store for a robbery. Search warrant. They found uh, police, or yeah, the police found sports cards and a gun. He was wearing some of the same clothing seen in the surveillance video from the store. I know, somebody's going to say in the comments, at least a couple of you, not the smartest criminal wearing the same clothes. Uh, he admitted to using some of the money to buy Halloween decorations and other items. Uh, he was on his roof putting up the decorations the police made to rest. He tried to flee on a bicycle. You guys remember this. Because I talked about another video where the guy fled on a bicycle. We were waiting sentencing. That's will probably ring the biggest bell was the bicycle piece on to it. Charged with robbery, illegal possession of firearm, receiving stolen property, terroristic threats, and other related offenses. So, he did get sentenced, just so you guys know. State of Pennsylvania, they don't mess around out there. I grew up there 20 to 40 years in state prison. So, we finally got the uh, sentencing done on to it. You know... I know it's kind of a good news story in the hobby because they caught somebody out there. Still bad news. This is happening still to people out there. Even today, even though this happened a little over a year ago. But at least they're starting to crack down on stuff out there. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Again, link will be in the description if you guys want to read more into this onto it. I will try to come on overtime tonight if I do not. 
I will post uh, something on, like I said, in the community thing on uh, YouTube, and then I'll also post on Discord as well. If I do come on tonight, it may only be Cora with me, but if you're in a Discord, just look at the general tab. There's always a link. Come on, hang out, chit-chat, and all that stuff. All right, everybody. Take care of a good one. See y'all next one. I'm out.